Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 9 server. In this video we're going to specifically focus on drives, both hard drives and solid state drives. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 9 server. In this video, as I said, we're going to focus specifically on drives. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over the different uh, types of compatible drives. We're going to go over the different speeds that are supported, uh, the max sizes uh, per capacity, that is. And then at the end, we're going to also show you a tool called HD Sentinel that we like to use uh, to test some of your drives and just see the, uh, the power on hours and uh, the overall health score. So let's go and hop in. So what are some of the different compatible types of drives? You have SAS, SATA, and you have solid state drives. And technically within solid state drives, you have SAS and SATA that are both compatible. So with SAS, the max speeds that you're going to get are going to be uh, 7.2K on the low end side, uh, 10K and 15K, and 15K will be the max. And the 7.2Ks, you'll notice those are kind of your more round sizes, your one terabyte, your two terabytes. Your 10K, 15Ks are going to be some of the kind of awkward sounding sizes, the 600 gigs, the um, 900 gigs, the 1.2 terabytes. Uh, those are going to be uh, a lot of the drives that are uh, kind of the faster speeds. Uh, but because they're faster, the ball bearings do uh, wear out and they will fail over time. That's one of the downfalls of the, uh, the faster speed SAS drives. On the SATA side, the fastest speed you're going to get is 7.2K. And really, that, that's what you're going to get. There's some weird ones out there where you might be able to get 10K out of it. But realistically, SATA, the most prevalent and really what you're going to get on the market is 7.2K. Now, with solid state drives, you can get up to 6 gigabit per second for SATA and 12 gigabit per second for SAS. So that'll be the overall speeds that you can get on the solid state drive sides. So now what are the max capacities? Well, that depends on if you're using a 2.5 inch drive, which is a small form factor, or a 3.5 inch drive, which is a, a large form factor. With the small form factor, you're going to max out at 2.4 terabytes for SAS, 2 terabytes for SATA, and you're going to get all the way up to 15.36 terabytes for SAS SSDs and 7.68 terabytes for SATA SSDs. So there's some uh, pretty good advantages overall for the capacity side for SSDs, and they're faster as a whole compared to uh, hard drives and just better performing. So uh, those are going to be your maxes on the small form factor side. Now on the large form factor side, uh, you're going to get a, a much higher overall capacity on the hard drive side, and it's going to be much cheaper on a price per gigabyte, which is really the advantage of uh, the large form factor drives. You're not going to be able to put as many of them in, but they're going to be cheaper overall. So on the large form factor side, HPE is going to say on their um, quick specs that you can get 12 terabyte for SAS, 12 terabyte for SATA, and then again all the way up to uh, the same SAS and SATA for SSDs as far as uh, 15 and uh, 7.68 for the, uh, the SATA SSDs. Um, but we've played around and we've put some uh, bigger hard drives in. You can realistically put at least 20 terabyte drives in uh, on the hard drive SAS and SATA side. And I wouldn't be surprised if someone drops a comment down below and actually do. If you have put in, let's just say, a 22 terabyte or something even bigger in the future, uh, users will love to hear that, hey, that this is compatible. So if you are using something uh, bigger or better at home or at your data center, please drop a comment down below. So all right, now that we know a little bit about the uh, different sizes, the different speeds, uh, let me go ahead and actually show you how easy they are to install because they're a hot swap. That'll be very quick and easy to show you. And then we'll show you how to test them with HD Sentinel. Let's get going. All right, I got my ESD gear on, so we are safe to work on our ProLiant. So first things first, we're just going to uh, pop the red tab right here. It's going to open up our caddy, and we can just slide our drive out. So let's just say this was a maybe a failed drive or we wanted to replace an old hard drive and put in a new solid state drive. You just pop it out. You're going to want to open your caddy before you put your new one in. Slide it in when it gets to the back. Uh, it'll pretty much help you close the caddy and you close it and you lock it in. Again, it's a very, very simple install. One of the easiest installs you're going to do between this and swapping a hard uh, power supply. Uh, I don't know what's easier, to be quite honest. Probably the power supply, but uh, it's one of the easiest installs. And also one of the things I always tell people that if you're looking to uh, increase the life um, and stretch out your Gen 9 for several more years and you want to increase the performance, uh, Upgrading your SSDs and honestly upgrading your RAM as well are two of the easiest and quickest ways uh, and not overly expensive as well to uh, increase the life of this for the long term. So, all right, now that you've seen how easy it is to do, we'll go ahead and show you also for the large form factor and then after that we'll hop into HD Sentinel. All right, so same deal. You're, this is just a large form factor, 3.5 inch, so push your red button. You're going to take your old hard drive out and... One of the things I should have noted earlier is if you are getting 
a solid state drive for your 3.5 inch chassis or your large form factor chassis. Um, when you go to our site and you buy uh, the upgrades, um, essentially you're going to get a 2.5 inch SSD, but you want it in a 3.5 inch tray and you want it done proper, of course. And this is the official HP adapter or converter that will, uh, in essence, make it easy so that you can install your 2.5 inch into the converter and still use your 3.5 inch tray and it'll still be a hot swap and you can pop it in and out so i'll show you it just slides in just like your normal hard drive and just that easy so again when you go to our site to buy uh, ssds to upgrade for your hp machines um, you will have that option for the large form factor so again i'll do it one more time and just show you how easy it is just slides in and out so now we'll show you how to test with hd sentinel Alrighty guys, so I have HD Sentinel pulled up right now and as you can see we currently have two drives plugged in. Uh, we have this installed into a storage array where we like to plug in multiple drives at a time so we can test those drives. HD Sentinel is an awesome tool because you can see things like the power on hours which is great especially when you're buying used equipment. You can see how long that that drive has been in use. You don't want to be using drives that have been you know heavily used because then you have a higher risk of drive failure um, and that's one of the reasons why HD Sentinel is such a cool tool. But as you can see we can just go ahead and plug a drive into the array and it'll automatically populate within the software. Like I said, lots of information. It'll give you health scores of the drives. As you can see, the two we have up top, they have a 100% health score, while the one at the bottom has a 99%, so all pretty good. So I hope you guys found this video useful, and if you did, go ahead, smash the subscribe, and leave a like. If you're interested in purchasing a custom-built server, or you're looking to buy some drives, we do have plenty of those in stock, so you can go reach out to us at sales at sales at cloudninjas.com. Anyways guys, thank you for stopping by.